Hello and welcome back to the channel. I have so much that I want to share with you guys today. I am getting the kitchen ready for the holidays. We will be organizing, adding some festive decorations to the kitchen, just a touch, and baking some cranberry orange muffins. I want to thank you for joining me here today. I am passionate about restoring home, family, and spirit through tried and true homemaking skills. Grocery lists have been made for our big meal on Thanksgiving day and grocery shopping has mostly been done and there's much to organize. So I'm going to be putting away some groceries that we got recently. We came home late and so I didn't have a time to put everything away. So I need to organize some of these groceries. I like to label what we are going to be using for Thanksgiving day. Um, special little ingredients that go into pies. I organize them together in the cupboard and put little sticky notes on them so I can remember where they are. I get so excited to make some of my favorite things like an island pecan pie. And I'm just making sure all the coconut and pineapple and all those little things get put away in the right place. This table in the middle of our kitchen is an antique table that I'm hoping someday has a marble countertop put on it and some wheels. But until then, I put a tablecloth over the top of it and it's definitely functional, but it needs some reorganizing. A lot of the things that we used in summer, like these salts to make ice cream are no longer needed in here. So I'm gonna be taking those out, organizing them out in the shed taking out this air fryer that we hardly ever use. It definitely needs to go out. So anything that we're not currently using needs to be taken out or not in season. And I'm lining up my potatoes and onions and all of those wonderful things that I use all the time in my fall kitchen. We have completed our first full year in Missouri and on our 26 little acre farm and the garden has been turned over and it's ready for next year. And I want to plant so many potatoes and onions. We go through at least an onion a day with how much cooking we do here in the kitchen. For the holidays, I am putting out a great big bowl of peanuts, a bowl of oranges, I'm lighting the candle and just really setting the mood. When you put lovely little snacks out, the kitchen tends to be a place to gather. And friends and family come by, they come and they crack some nuts open while they're talking to the cook in the kitchen. And I love just setting the mood. As the homemaker, that's really what we do is we set the mood. And sometimes we even have to incentivize ourselves. So I am going to get through the dirty work of organizing and cleaning out my baking station. And in the end, I'm going to get to decorate, make the kitchen feel beautiful and clean. And then we're gonna make something delicious. This is a great time to take inventory of what is in your kitchen. As you're transitioning through the seasons, you can put away some of those summer things like all of my popsicle molds that I don't need right now. Put them away, save them for next year, and bring forward all the things that you are going to need, especially for the holidays coming up. I've got some trays in here that I normally just use for the holidays, so I get to figure out where all of those are, what I wanna use, when you move into a new house, sometimes you are just so motivated to get those boxes unloaded. You just put everything in without being quite sure how the flow of the kitchen is going to work and how you're going to move in it and what you're going to use. And I find that I've become so much more cutthroat about what I want to use and what I want to get rid of. And I get rid of the things that I don't necessarily use. 
Okay, so I try to put the things that I use the most here in the front. I use the bowls right here the most. I only have a couple really big bowls and then I've got cake stuff back here. These are all cake pans. Bread, I use those once a week. Although I want to get rid of all the rest of these and then I really like this brand, this Norpro, because it just pops right out and never gets stuck and I actually really like this shape. So these ones, the non-stick is starting to come off which is not cool, I need to get rid of those. Um, although this one right here is a good one from Pampered Chef. I'm going to keep that one. Then over here is my pie section. I realize I only have three pie pans, which is a good thing to realize since I was hoping to make quite a few pies for Thanksgiving. So I need to keep in mind that I do only have three pie pans plus a foil one. This is a pie carrier plate, which is good to have. Um, and... I've got my muffin tins down here with my trays and mostly holiday trays, which I only use every once in a while. These pans I use very often. I've got my nine by 13s down here. I have two of those. And then these are mostly for like brownies and casseroles. A couple other things in here like thermoses, which we'll use this winter a lot. And this we use to put milk in. So when we get fresh raw cow's milk need to find some places for like this miscellaneous. Maybe I did actually shove some things back here, some summer things in the angel food cake pan. Maybe I'll put those back in there. But, um, and then I did get rid of one other thing, which is this cake plate. This is a cake plate that I haven't used for a long time. I just don't want to put it in our cupboard here where I'm baking all the time. It's used very seldom, so I need to find some place else for that. But for now, this is so much more functional and organized, and the things that I use all the time are in sections and ready at the front. And that's why I don't always talk to the camera. <laughs> because I have four kids and the house is never quiet <laughs> but the baby's coos are sure cute I found a bucket to put my sweet potatoes in it's not very beautiful but um, it's functional so it will do for now So now under this table, I have my Dutch ovens, which I use when I make artisan sourdough bread, which I do pretty often. I've got my big barrel of potatoes and sweet potatoes down here and my onions. Abby, what are you talking about over here? For the longest time, I have been wanting to get my baking station organized, put everything that is in its store-bought packaging into jars and containers that are labeled. So I am so excited about this. Each of these containers not only comes with labels, but they also have some of these like nifty tricks. <laughs> so if you absolutely love organizing and love containers, you're going to you're going to freak out too. For an example, this brown sugar container has a little clay disc that you soak in water for 15 minutes. And then it has a little compartment that you put it in and your brown sugar will never be dry. I thought that was such a nifty idea and so cute. So now I can ditch the slice of bread in the brown sugar. <laughs> The big flour container came with this little piece that you can either leave on the magnetic strip on the lid or you can actually click it into the container and it sifts the flour off the top of the cup so that you're not having to run your finger through it and it just kind of makes that super quick. And then also it had different labels. So if you have gluten-free flour or whole wheat flour or all-purpose flour, um, there were lots of different options for the stickers. So this is going to be my all-purpose flour. And then this next container is for sugar. It has a pouring spout on top so you can pour it into your containers or whatnot. So some of you have probably 
wondering, hey, Jenilee, what is up with your high processed white sugar? I know, guys, I do prefer a raw, um, pure cane sugar, which is a bit of an investment in the baking department. But I actually just signed up for Azure Standard and I missed the first order cutoff and I was so, so sad. So some of these flours and sugars were small bags that I picked up from the grocery store to get me through the month until I can make my first big order on Azure Standard and get my preferred ingredients that I do love. If you don't know what Azure Standard is, I can just leave a link below and maybe you can order with me. <laughs> I'm putting powdered sugar into this other container. Our family loves powdered sugar on top of crepes and pancakes sometimes. And it's pretty cool because this container has a little scoop that sprinkles your powdered sugar for you which is going to be so nifty when we are doing our christmas cookie baking i am a make do with what you have type of girl so i rarely get new containers these in fact were my old brown sugar and powdered sugar containers they are so so sad literally falling apart um, if you're having similar problems in your kitchen maybe it's time to update if you want to get these containers that i am showing these are from kooihousewares.com and i will put a link down below so you can find their website i want to thank them for sponsoring this video i am pumped about supporting a company that is a family owned kitchen store that is here in the USA. So thanks Kui for sponsoring this video. Multiple things you've seen in my kitchen today are actually from Kui Housewares. So links will be down in the show box below. In the mornings this week, we have been doing homeschool. We do homeschool for a few hours and then we do lunch and I tidy up the kitchen and I have a couple hours to get back to organizing my kitchen. So we're going back into the baking station. I have this drawer that really needs to be tended to. It is out of control. Um, maybe you have noticed a pattern here. I'm actually not a super organized or clean person. It doesn't come very natural to me. Um, so I have to be really intentional about making a system that works. But I do enjoy the process. I love being elbow deep in a project. I love putting in a day's worth of hard work and I love the results. Organizers are great when you use them properly. So I do have this little organizer that I am putting my foil and wax paper and plastic wrap in and hopefully that will help keep those things in check 
and not all over this drawer. My goal is to put the things that I use all the time right up here in the front of the drawer, try to create little systems. I wished I had some sort of little container or basket or box to put some of the smaller things in this drawer so they're not just floating and rolling around in here. So I pulled out a cardboard box um, and made that work. This is kind of how I roll. I don't live in the city. I don't have a home goods nearby. So I just have to use what I have sometimes and it's getting the job done. So all of my baking gadgets, all those small things are going to go into this little box in here. When it comes to the kitchen, this is such a high functioning area that only the things that I actually really use um, need to be within hand's reach. All the seasonal things that I don't use very often, um, some of my canning supplies are tucked far away up into some deep cupboards. What's going in this drawer are things that I actually do use at least on a weekly basis. So, you know, it's a good thing to ask yourself whenever you are in an organization project is when was the last time that I actually used this? The Instapot is definitely something that I use all the time. And these silicone rings that go in the Instapot lid had to get out of this drawer. They were driving me crazy. And so I put a little nail down in the cupboard where I keep my Instapot and hung those up there. And we'll see how that works. And now I'm moving on to the shelves in my baking station. They all need to wipe down. I need to go through all of the store-bought goods that are in there. Um, clean them out, see what needs to be thrown away, and um, put the rest of my goods into containers with labels. This is a good time to pay attention to expiration dates and what things need to go. You also can have a list nearby so you can make an ongoing list of the things that you need to refill and restock. I kind of have an online list going that I am going to be making my Azure Standard order on. I am things that I might need for the holidays. I am really stocking up um, before the holiday baking season. I'm putting some of these things that I use on a daily basis or a weekly basis in pretty containers. Some of these things I'm going to leave on the counter. The rice flour I actually do use as I make my artisan loaves. It's the only thing that keeps my sourdough from sticking to the uh, containers or little baskets that they go in when they are being shaped. Baking powder and baking soda are also something I use all the time with pancakes and biscuits. And I adore these little vintage mason jars that have lids that I picked up from a thrift store uh, the other weekend. Does anyone else have chocolate chips in bulk? <laughs> I think that says a lot about a person. Um, what they have on bulk is really their priorities here. <laughs> so I wanted to just choose some things that were aesthetically pleasing. And I had these little antique boxes that I've had laying around for years and years. And I am bringing them into the baking station just because they're so pretty to look at. So I'm organizing my chocolate chips in the largest one, my baking chocolate in this medium sized bin. And for the smallest bin, I'm going to be putting all of my flavorings and extracts. I don't know why I still have the sourdough baking box. I use this stuff all the time, but I've just been keeping it here in this box. So I'm going to take it out of the box, put those Banneton baskets up on the shelf and everything that I need on the shelf. And that's just about it. I'm sure that I'm going to need to reorganize this sometime in the future. Um, and just, it's always good to sift through your ingredients and see what's expired see what you need new things of and this feels a lot better so much fresher i have the things that i use most of the time here on the bottom shelves and the things that i use seldom are on the higher shelves phew now that that is complete it's time to get to the decorating side of things i love making things beautiful and even in the kitchen 
Last night, I sliced some navel oranges and put them in my oven at 170 degrees, which is the lowest setting it can go, to dehydrate. I set my cook time on for five hours, and then they sat in the oven for the rest of the night. We are going to be making some orange garlands. The kids really wanted to get in on this project, so as they are threading these oranges, I'm going to go over and get some cranberry orange muffins started. I put the recipe up on a notepad and put it right on the fridge so I can peek up at it as I am making these muffins. It feels so good to be baking in a freshly organized space where everything is clean and I know where everything is. Have you ever noticed that when you clean a new space and you organize it, put some flowers out, make it beautiful? How everyone flocks to that space. They want to play there. They want to read there. They want to get their toys out there. And even if it's just clean for that moment, it sure makes the home feel just lovely, like a place you want to be. I'm so grateful you were here today. Thank you for spending this time with me. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? This is a space that you will hopefully always be motivated, inspired to make your home a better place. Remember, you can find a lot of these wonderful things I'm using in my kitchen down in the description box below. You'll find kooeyhousewares.com down there hopefully some of the other things that I can find that I did use in this video today. I'll catch you next time. Make sure to have a wonderful holiday. Love you lots.